子。It's your girl Jay and today I'm here with my most anticipated releases for November 2019. I have six total. I usually try to pick ones that aren't super popular but this time around it is apparently the month of sequels so I'm sorry but a lot of them are pretty popular this time around so without further ado let us get started so the first one that I am excited about is Queen of Nothing by Holly Black this is supposed to be released November 19th 2019 this is the third book in the Cruel Prince Wicked King series I don't know what it's called I'm sure you all do I don't I forget my mind is drawing a blank but like I said third book in the series. I'm so excited for it because The Cruel Prince and The Wicked King are two of my favorite books for the year 2019 so I'm really excited to see how it ends. I feel like this is on a lot of people's most anticipated releases list this month so I ain't gonna go into detail. The next book that I have is Supernova by Marissa Meyer. This is supposed to be released November 5th, 2019, and this is probably my most anticipated release for the entire year because Arch Enemies was my favorite book of this entire year so far, so I am so excited to see how the story ends. I believe that this is the end. It's a trilogy. I could be wrong. I'm not a very good booktuber, I don't do my research, but I'm so excited for this. I'm so excited to see Nova. I just want to say that I was correct when I guessed the title of this book. I totally called Supernova and I was like super into it. The next book that I have is Girls of Shadow and Storm by Natasha Nan, and this is the second book in the Girls of Paper and Fire series. I believe that it's a duology. Again, I could be wrong, but I am so, 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 so excited for it, and this is also released November 5th, 2019. The next book I have is another series. This is the third book in the Last Namasara series. It is The Sky Weaver by Kristen Cicerelli, and this is supposed to be released November 12th, 2019. This one follows Sapphire, who is Asha's cousin. She's like the leader of some battalion army thing. I can't remember. It's been a while since I read the last two books in the series, but she has to work with a deadly pirate named Eris, who is her sworn enemy in order to find Asha, the last Namsara, and I heard that it was a female to female enemies to lovers, and I am super here for it. Like, so beyond here for it, it's ridiculous. The next book is one that is not part of a series as far as I know. I believe it is a standalone, but it is Crown of Oblivion by Julie Espau. This is supposed to be released November 12th, 2019 as well, and it follows Astrid, who is part of the Outcasts, which means that she has no citizenship and no magic. The Outcasts are basically servants to people with magical abilities, and it is a very hard life. There is one way out of this lifestyle, and that is to participate participate in the race of oblivion and this is where participants take a drug called oblivion which wipes their memory clean and for most people this race means death but for the winner it means a life of freedom citizenship and health care for the entire family Ashley wants nothing more than to win the race and free her family but when she joins the race she meets a boy who might be a friend but he might also be an enemy and it's basically like the story of that but I think it sounds super cool it kind of gives me like Hunger Game vibes so I'm really excited about it and then the final book that I have is called Degrees of Guilt and this is by H.S. Chandler and this is supposed to be released on November 19th of 2019 this follows a woman named Maria who is on trial for the attempted murder of her husband which she fully admits to but it might have been justified and then it also follows a girl named Lottie who is on the jury and she needs to decide whether or not to convict Maria but as pieces of the case come to light she starts to feel a connection with Maria and then she decides that she is going to start an affair with another jury member and that's when things get a little bit interesting and I just think that this sounds really fun and like kind of like it should be a movie so I think it's gonna be really good. I hope it's really good. I guess we'll see if we ever read it because knowing me, probably will never read it unless it's like four years later, so. Let me know if you read it and you like it because I'm intrigued. All right, everybody, that was my most anticipated releases for the month of November 2019. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these and what you thought of them, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye! Yeah.